Hi guys, today we are going to do a screen connector for uh, A203115 and um, the other connector was broken, we have removed it. I'm very sure that a lot of people know just how, how to remove the connector in case if you want to know how to remove the connector or faulty connector just uh, ask us um, or leave it in the comments and we can make a video about that as well um, you need to have a new connector which we've got and I'm going to show you how to actually prepare this to go onto the board so so um, we've got the new connector now and what you will notice if and it's a brand new connector all the connect the points the pins um, sometimes they become difficult to actually when you put them onto the board they don't make the contact properly so the easiest method for this jack would be th what you do is put some flux here on this and a little bit do a bit of thinning of this and I'll show you a little more how to do that but you have to make sure that you don't uh, put it put the soldering iron for so long that it it burns the connector or damages the connector so when you brush it like this it will help it um, grabbing the solder or making the contact at the bottom nicely um, just remove the jack and help us uh, doing the connector put the connector onto the board important part is that you align it properly once you aligned it you'll have these these two points these two points if you solder them first they, this will help you keeping the jack straight so just um, simply solder this with that so one second I'm going to grab some solder on my solder iron cleaning part of it we can do it later on the whole point first is to simply make it sit down properly so now we've got this done and you can see here that I haven't done any other point but the two points from the here, from here and here and I'm going to slowly slowly solder the rest of it so we put flux on it okay the easy method would be to go from side and simply start brushing the key to it is a good flux and this is a basic soldering iron so no need to do too much or worry about too much just simply brush it first when you feel there is not um, there's no more solder left on it just get a soldering wire make a little bit of solder point like that the cleaning part of it I can explain it to you later this is f just for us to get the points you will notice because you're using uh, we are using a Amtec flux so even the points which feels that they're joined they can be easily cleaned if you see here now they're mostly clean and
what you can do rather than making a big blob like that simply because I am working with a solder iron which I did tell in my previous video that it needs a bit of replacement tip but I'm, I'm not really bothered about that so we can simply go like that make a small point you'll have a little bit of solder on the tip and you just go on to each pin one by one so and make a nice contact because I am using an am scope microscope so I can see all this these contacts are shiny nice and bright so once I've done that I am going to go through all these and confirm if all these points are making contact with the board at the bottom where they should be so far so good now I'm gonna give it a clean I know I haven't done it from these sides these sides so which I will do in a minute so first I'm gonna I'm just gonna give it a clean and uh, ta -ta. so once we have this we can actually zoom in for you and you can we will be upgrading our cameras very very soon but there are no joints I mean there are no contacts which are left so so now time to test um, the points so we're going to simply take a tweezer and go like that very softly gently the one which moves will be the one which is not like this one so simply this one Let, let's see if there's not any other one I was expecting some more but I think you just got one here yeah so just a second looks like all of this is fine now and that's fine so now we put some flux on the sides there you go just a bit on the connector here what we don't want is the, is the solder traveling inside the connector from outside so what we're going to do is simply keep the tip here use the hot air from a distance and there you go And that's it. I'm not going to
inside the connector is clean the most important part guys was the end bit where you put flux to it and you do from the sides of it um, if you are not careful with that the solder can travel inside and then you have to redo the connector so it looks like it's nice shiny screen connector okay guys um, we're gonna put the board in we've done the connector um, this is not the right method make sure you do a testing properly we just quickly going to test it just put it on properly and I'm just gonna simply see if we have got a light you can put the board in okay we've got the light yeah. and uh, you need to put in the board properly we're gonna wait for question mark folder let's see and come on come on um, should be any second now one two I really wanted to come on three but um, it's not there yet uh, here we go so there you go guys we got a blinking folder thank you very much